Hey, this is Matt. Welcome back to the channel, Blind to Billionaire. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to obtain services from your state agency that serves the blind and visually impaired. So now just a quick disclaimer, I'm not sure how this works in other countries, but this is relevant to the United States. Um, as for other countries, I'm not really sure how it works, but I'm guessing there possibly could be some agency in your country if you're outside of the United States that helps the blind and visually impaired. But here in the United States, and again, I'm not sure if this applies to every state, but I would be willing to bet that just about every state out there has some kind of agency that is geared toward helping the blind and visually impaired with different services. So um, I, today I'm going to be specifically talking about the state agency here in Minnesota because that is where I live. So I'll get into it and um, discuss it. So the state agency here in Minnesota is actually called State Services for the Blind. Otherwise, uh, the abbreviation is SSB. Now, I don't think it's called that same name in other states, but I'm sure it's something similar to that. So actually, I've been talking about this for a few weeks. Well, let's be honest, <laughs> longer than a few weeks. I've actually been talking about this for a few months. But today, I actually had a meeting with somebody from SSB, State Services for the Blind, and we talked about orientation and mobility training, um, adjustment to blindness training, and some of the services that they offer revolving around that, and just some of the other services that are offered through the state agency and possibly that are just out there in the community and world, just some of the resources that are available. So I thought it might be an interesting video just to cover a little bit of this information that we discussed today because you know, possibly there's other people out there that are in my situation where um, you don't really know where to turn, who to talk to, who to call, or what to do. In fact, uh, just to digress for just a moment, I actually talked to somebody last week, a friend that I have, and she also has retinitis pigmentosa, and she lives here in the United States, but she lives in a different state than me. And she reached out and said, hey, you know, I have some questions. Can we connect? And I said, sure, yeah, let's do it. So we talked on the phone for a little while and she was like, hey, you know, my vision has gotten really bad in the last few months and I don't know what to do, like what to do. And I said, well, have you contacted your state agency to help, um, you know, to, to um, look at any resources that they have as far as like or, uh, orientation mobility training or technology training or um, adjustment to blindness training. And she said, well, no, I, I didn't even know about that. And then I said, well, you know, you can do that and um, you know, just find your state agency and reach out to them and they'll likely have somebody contact you over the phone and you can talk about it. Um, otherwise, you'll have somebody come out to your house and go through some of the different services that are offered. And so that was a great resource for her. But then also, um, she she has an iPhone, but she just struggles to use the iPhone and doesn't use it on voiceover. And I thought, wow, like you're really struggling. Like <laughs> the iPhone can be so much easier to use if you just implement voiceover. So anyway, I'm digressing for a minute because I was actually in this same place not that long ago where I was, um, I would say ignorant to all of the different services and pieces of technology out there that are available for all of us. So. As I was talking with her, I just I was reminiscing of the times and the days when I was in the same position where it's like, wow, I just don't know what I don't know, right? You don't know what you don't know until you learn. And I, I wanted to help her at the same time. And I thought after today's meeting with the SSB counselor or the, um, the initial person that came out, I thought this would actually be a great video in the event there's other people out there in the same situation as my friend that I connected with last week who just don't know what to do, don't know where to turn or who to talk to or who to call or what to do in these situations. So I thought, hopefully this video will be helpful to other people in this position. Although I do know that I am <laughs> probably a little bit behind the times basically because I should have obtained these services and these skills years ago when my vision was better before it got to the point that it is now. But uh, nonetheless, I'm actually doing it and um, I'm going forward with it, even though it's probably a little bit later than it should be. But anyway, um, so hopefully you're in a position that you have usable vision so that you can go through some of this training because that's always what's recommended to get some of this training while you still have 
usable vision rather than getting to the point like where I am, where uh, I would say my vision is not usable anymore. So uh, learning some of these skills could be a little more difficult for me, but that's my own fault. <laughs> I was told, I was advised, but I didn't listen. So anyway, getting back to the meeting today. So I had the counselor, the person come out from SSB today and talk with me um, about, well, basically it's about my needs. Um, she was asking what, like, what do, what do you want to obtain from SSB? And I said, well, I said, first things first, I would really like to get orientation and mobility training. And the reason for that is, like I was just expressing, I should have had this training years ago, but I didn't. Um, I had a lot of people telling me, you should get the training, you need the training, get it now. And I just kept saying, no, no, I don't need the training. I don't want it now. And here I am years later and I don't have the skills that I wish I had. So I was telling the counselor person today that I really wish I had orientation and mobility skills and training. And she was asking why, just to get to know me and get to know more in depth, why do I want those skills? And I was expressing that, well, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't, I will not leave my driveway of my house without someone helping me. I, it sounds ridiculous, probably, especially for all of you who have these skills, because, you know, you know how much independence this training has allowed you to have. So you probably think like, you know, you need the training, but um, I literally will not leave my driveway without somebody helping me because I can get turned around and lost so easily um, that I just won't do it because I've been in the position before that I have been turned around and lost and it's just like it's so stressful to be in that situation that I won't put myself in those situations anymore to possibly get lost. Um, so anyway, I was just saying I would love to have the orientation and mobility training so that I can possibly pursue other things as far as like other skill building and um, adjustment to blindness training. So then some of the other options and some of the other um, uh, skills or um, services that are provided by SSB or the state agency for the blind and visually impaired are different. Um, so like cleaning. So what they'll do is they have classes where they teach you how to effectively clean your house. Um, it's, it sounds like it's in a classroom setting. Something else they have is cooking. So they teach you how to cook and be effective and efficient in the kitchen as a person who is blind or visually impaired. So I thought that would actually be pretty helpful since I actually don't do much cooking or let's be honest, I, I don't really do any cooking just because it's like, I don't really, it would just be it, would be, it would take me so much time to do the cooking that it would take Corey or a different sighted person to do. So I just don't really do any cooking. Another, uh, another um, skill or another service that they offer is technology training. And now this could be technology training with an iPhone or a smartphone, tablets, uh, laptops, or even desktops, and teaching you how to use um, readback or talkback technology like screen readers to use, uh, let's just say like a PC or a laptop effectively as a person with limited or even no vision at all. So that's a really cool program that they have. And again, like I said, that's you can also do it with tablets like iPads or other tablets by other brands and iPhones, things like that. So they have very specific training with technology that we can get and that'll teach us actually how to use these devices most effectively um, as people with low vision. So these are some of the services that were um, available through these state agencies. And I thought it was just really cool. And she was asking quite a few other questions, you know, as we were sitting here for an hour, hour and a half, whatever it was, talking about all of the different services that are offered. And she also gave me a lot of resources as far as like what I can, um, well, let me just digress for a second again. So they have different resources being like, um, if you like to listen to books, they have a program where you can get um, like this little recorder, not a recorder, but like a, like a little CD player where they send you mini discs of any books that you want and you can actually listen to books on audio. Or I actually think they even have the option where you can get magazines and other types of print or um, like different types of literature that they can actually send you in these little mini discs and then you can actually listen through audio which is really cool. And she also gave me a bunch of other resources to 
um, where I can get Braille, where I can obtain Braille, books in Braille. Um, if I have a book that is not in audio form, I can actually send them a book or bring it in physically, and they, actually, they can actually turn it into an audio version of the book. So again, a lot of really cool resources for anybody who is blind or visually impaired. Um, but anyway, I didn't want to really, I didn't want to make this a, whole, a very long video, but I just wanted to make a somewhat short and concise video talking about a lot of the different features and services that a state agency can offer someone who is blind or visually impaired. So now there is, I'm guessing, once again, I'm guessing it is the same process in other states too as it is here in Minnesota, but there is a like a, an application, an enrollment, an eligibility form that we need to um, fill out and then they assess to see like, okay, are we eligible based on the level of vision loss that we currently have? So me being someone with light perception, I mean, I literally, <laughs> I have light perception, so I'm not totally blind, but um, yeah, so my eligibility, I mean, it's not accepted yet, but they have to go through the process of accepting like they do with everybody else. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm actually really excited about this and I should be hearing back in a few days as far as if they accept the application and then where to go from here as far as how to move forward with this whole process. So I'm actually excited to start the, orienta the orientation and mobility training. Hopefully, I don't know when it starts. I don't know how long this process takes, but hopefully within the next few weeks or next month or two, I can start that training and kind of document my process. Again, hopefully being helpful to all of you here on this channel that are possibly looking for some of these services and just possibly if you're, if you're kind of like me and you didn't really know where to turn, who to talk to, who to call, or what resources that are out there for this type of, um, for these types of services, hopefully these videos will be helpful. So anyway, like I said, just wanted to make a short video talking about the, the meeting today. If you have any questions regarding the meeting that I had today with the state agency, State Services for the Blind here in Minnesota, feel free to stick a comment down below if you have a specific question. Feel free to stick that down below and I will answer it in detail if I, you know, if I can, if we covered that. Um, but anyway, I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for watching this and I really look forward to the training that I'm going to be getting here in the next few weeks or months, whatever it could be. So anyway, thanks again for watching this. I really appreciate it. Otherwise, if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribe. I really enjoy connecting with everybody and just getting to know everybody on this channel. It's been really fun just to see all of you and see everybody connecting down in the comments section. It's just really cool. So anyway, thanks again for watching this. I will see you again on Wednesday in another video. Thanks, thanks again, and I will see you soon. All right, bye now.